Springfield Union News is a mass circulation paper. It takes an army of workers to produce and nearly 2,000 carriers to spread the news. Reading the paper has long been a daily ritual. Most of us, still in our pajamas, peruse the paper for word of who won the game, the latest on the murder investigation, or how our tax dollars are being spent. Getting the paper out is a 24-hour operation. Tonight, a behind-the-scenes look at the making of a newspaper. First edition. First edition, our replay will be H-16, as it should run in the uh, Metro West edition, too. It's the daily meeting of the minds, where the editorial staff decides on news coverage and story placement. Okay, Milton Bradley suit. Let's run that as a region all the way brief. Sports. The Red Hot Red Sox go for their sixth straight win tonight. As for that all-important okay. front-page story. And the surprise visit from Barbara Bush. That will run page one. A hot tip and tight lip led to a scoop for reporter Ray Kelly, who covered the unannounced visit. When the limousine with Mrs. Bush pulled out, I figured, great, we've got an exclusive. A great feeling, absolutely. No one wants to see their story broken first on TV. The moment was also captured on film. <laughs> Processed and digitally composed, and ready for pagination and news editor Vern Hill. So do you miss typewriters? A little bit. Pagination is the process of just putting together a page on a computer screen. Mm -hmm. Get a story, you send it to the copy desk, or copy editors will write the caption, will edit the story, and also write the headline. When you tell them what you want, you want, for example, a four-column headline about Barbara Bush visiting the Seuss Museum. We know before the page goes to composing of exactly what it's going to look like. The page is then sent electronically to a printer. <laughs> the negative sheet is burned with an ultraviolet light onto a thin metal plate. Now ready for printing, the plate will be wrapped around rollers in the press, and a newspaper comes to life. It takes 24 hours of work, involving an editorial staff of 200, to make a small novel, the Springfield Union News. 100,000 words about the day, printed on a press that churns out 40,000 papers an hour. Kevin Doherty has been printing papers for 25 years. You get newspaper ink in your blood and it's always there to stay. His biggest source of pride? We've never missed a publication. And not once has anyone ever yelled, stop the presses. As the first copies roll off the press, samples are checked for quality. Then it's on to the mailroom. Bundles are stacked and tied. Shipped out to waiting trucks. Against deadlines, pressure, and changing circumstances. A daily novella about life in Greater Springfield is brought from their door to your door. Tomorrow, how the World Wide Web, the information superhighway, is changing the newspaper industry and how the Springfield Union News is meeting the challenge in this, the age of electronic newspapers. really has. I mean, we're saying that the, the, the only thing that's really changed in that process, they don't cut and paste anymore, no. but the printing process is pretty Computers much the same. have changed a great deal in the newsroom, but the printing process itself is relatively the same. So, yeah, it, it is amazing to see where they've marched forward. And tomorrow we'll look more into what the computer has done to their newsroom and to the whole news gathering process. Yes, I'll appreciate the paper more when I read exactly. it. Exactly. All that work went into it. The <laughs> well, press is printing out right now as we speak. It is. Mm. So we won't stop it. Riverside Park unveils its new